so we have formulated the problem statement i'll i'll again revise it i'll keep revising things again and again so that we shouldn't get confused where we are in the proof a problem statement was simply we have to prove that if the value of r0 basic reproductive number is less than 1 then our q star q star which is nothing but limit n tends to infinity q n is equal to 0 and if our r0 it is greater than 1 then the same q star is greater than 0 and do, and you remember what is qn let's quickly see what is qn so if i have a network over here uh, let's say i have a network here this node has k neighbors and each of these again have some k neighbors and so on and let me make which is here and these are the edges k neighbors here and then this has k neighbors here k neighbors here k neighbors here and so on and we go up to the nth level nth level so what was qn qn was the probability that at least at least one person is infected at the nth level one person is infected at at level n so let's now see how can we find out this value of qn so i make a more uh, clear network over here so i need some time so okay okay and here i can be a little bit okay. and here are the edges fine this is my network right and somewhere down is our nth level so let's say this is a level n okay now what do we do i define an event here now carefully watch i define an event here and the event i say that it is a star event star event what do i mean by a star event we know that one of the node here should be infected right and for this node here to be infected there should be a path right there should be a path from this node which was initially infected so this node here is obviously infected for some of the node at level n to be infected there should be a path from this node to this node to somewhere here to somewhere here some path should be here right so now what does even star means that the path can come from here that path can come from here and infect some node here or that path can come from here and infect some node here but there is at least some path and this path should run through should go through at least one of these edges either through this either through this or either through this right so my star event says that it is a event that your infection reaches this level n through a path which involves this edge so infection goes from this edge after this edge i do not know what happens but it reaches level n but this edge for sure is infected so star event is the event that your infection reaches level n involving this edge and something happens after this edge any path so after this edge infection can go through this edge and have some path can go through this edge and have some path can go through this edge and have some path but for sure it comes from here that is my event star okay what do you think is the probability of this event star what is the probability that your infection reaches level n through this path through some of the path here it's easy how will infection reach here so we know that first of all for infection to reach here 
me take back all my paths okay so for my infection to come through this path first of all this thing should be infected right this edge should be infected and then something happens afterwards now see what was qn qn was the probability that starting from here your infection reaches this level right that is qn you start from this level from this node and your infection reaches this right okay now tell me can i write the probability of event star as probability that let's call this edges e1 and probability that e1 is infected the infection passes through e1 multiplied by what should come after multiplication after multiplication is the probability that and let's say that this node over here is u so into probability that from u infection reaches level n probability that e1 is infected into probability that from u infection reaches level n what is this probability that from u infection reaches level n do you see if you start from u it is the same as if you as if you are starting from here just one level has reduced what is what was qn you start from here and your infection should reach nth level what is qn minus 1 that you start from here and your infection reaches level n minus 1 so if you look at this node u over here so assume that this node is not here all these nodes are not here i'll even remove this we'll take them back hmm wait i just rub all this portion let's say all this is not here all this is not here i forget about all this and what i want to know is that you start from u and infection reaches level n so this was here level n what is this level for u so if i start from u so for u for u this is level 1 next will be level 2 and this will be level n minus 1 so this thing probability that your infection starts from u and reaches level n is nothing but Qn minus one. Okay, so I'll just um, take everything back. Okay, right. So how can I write my probability of event star? What is the probability that even is infected? the probability that even is infected let's take a new slide and write it there i quickly draw all of these things here so we have this node and it has some k neighbors which has some k neighbors again and so on and here is your level n and then recall what was your event star event star was you reach level n through this path and we said that the probability of event star equals to probability that the edge even that the edge even so if this is even probability that even gets infected multiplied by Q n minus one, right? And what is the probability that even gets infected is nothing but p. So it is p q n minus one is the probability of event star. So far so good. Now what were we looking at? We start our infection from here and it should reach level n. 
for reaching level n how many star events are possible it can go from here it can go from here it can go from here so there is a star event here there is a star event here and there is a star event here so there are k star events right and your infection can go through the happening of this star event or the happening of this star event or the happening of this star event even if one of these at least one so even if one of these star event succeed your infection will reach level n right because what is the star event that your infection reaches level n through this path so for your infection not to reach level n all of these star event should fail right so i can write qn qn was my probability that my infection reaches level n and for reaching level n it has to go through one of these star events so can i write qn as 1 minus probability that all star events fail qn is nothing but the probability that all of the star events fail okay now what is the probability that all of the star events fail 1 minus what is the probability that first star event fail so probability that first star event succeeds is this probability that first star events fail will be 1 minus this so it is 1 minus pq n minus 1 what is the probability that second star event fail all of them should fail so i put a multiplication here and what is the probability that second star event fail it is the same so it is 1 minus p q n minus 1 and i keep doing it how many times how many star events are there that many times so it is k times right so i can write q n as 1 minus 1 minus p q n minus 1 to the power of k So I'll quickly put back everything in place. Whatever we have done till now, we will do it at the end of uh, every small lecture, which is uh, through which this proof is running. So let's quickly see what we have done. So first of all, what was our problem statement? Our problem statement was to prove that if r zero less than one, then q star equals to zero. If r zero greater than one, then q star is greater than zero. This was our problem statement. next in this lecture what we did in this lecture we derived a formula for qn and the formula is 1 minus 1 minus p q and minus 1 to the power of k and we also know what is q star from our first lecture q star is limit and tends to infinity qn so we'll start from here in our next lecture